and welcome to Times XP, I'm Jyoti Atri. Hundreds of Punjabi students in Canada are protesting against a new government policy that could send them back home. Now, these students came to Canada hoping to build a better future, but now they are really scared that they might be deported. The protest started in Toronto and quickly spread to cities like Brampton, Vancouver, Winnipeg and Montreal. Now, the problem began when Canada introduced a policy that limits the number of international students who can stay and work after finishing their studies. This policy affects their chances to getting a permanent residency, which many students were counting on to settle in Canada after their studies. Now, these students who invested a lot of time, effort and even money into their education feels like their dream are being crushed. They had hopes to build their lives in Canada, but now they are uncertain about their futures. So at the protest, students carried sign uh, saying like we deserve a future and stop targeting international students. They are really angry that after doing everything by the book like following the rules and paying their school fees, they now feel betrayed by the sudden policy change. Many students had already planned their lives staying in Canada after school, but now they don't know what's next. The students have been protesting in Brampton's uh, Queen Street since the end of August and even Punjabi singers like Rupinder Handa and Guru Randhawa showed up to support them. With that, many groups like 54 trade unions under Ontario Federation of Workers and Migrants and other migrant groups also joined in to show their support. Bikram, a leader of Nojawan Support Network that organized the protest, expressed the frustration of many students. Now let me quote you what he said. We came here with big dreams, we did everything right, paid our fees and now they are shutting us out. It's just not fair. Meghdeep Singh, a student originally from Mansain, Punjab, shared his story of working really hard, paying taxes and even earning enough points for his PR only to face what? The possibility of deportation? He said, I spent six important years in Canada working and studying and now the government is being unfair. Now, these students believe that this change will affect over 130,000 international students. Many of them are from India. They are also calling on Punjabi MPs like Brampton North MP Ruby Sahota, who has shown her support to fight for their cause in the parliament. Even though the protests are growing, the Canadian government is standing by its decision. A government spokesperson explained that the cap on students was necessary to keep Canada's immigration system sustainable. Quoting what he said, we understand the students are upset, but we have to manage the flow of workers for the good of the country. Now, despite this, the students continue to protest, hoping that their voice will be heard. We'll keep you in the loop about what's happening next and do follow Times XP for further updates.